All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Uh, and this is just going to be a video, man, going over, uh, you know, Great Millstone, you know, GMS, you know, the rape, this quote unquote, you know, rape doctrine, right? Now, I'll say this, man, I'm not, you know, I'm not affiliated with Great Millstone. I'm not a member of Great Millstone. However, I will come to the defense of GMS um, because they are right on this, right? The Bible does teach this. They are absolutely correct. So because they are correct, I will come to the defense of the apostles of Great Millstone. Okay, just because I am not, you know, a member, you know, of GMS, that does not at all mean that I disrespect you know, any of those brothers, man. In fact, I, you know, hope the Most High Yahweh, you know, blesses, you know, all those men, right? And I hope that all the members of Great Millstone receive salvation, right? And all of their followers, man, right? May the Most High bless all those brothers, man, right? And even though there might be certain topics that I might disagree with, you know, with Great Millstone on, you know, it does not at all mean that I hate those brothers, not at all, man. Okay, so, you know, I know I got guys out there, you know, in GMS who, you know, come against me for no reason at all. And, hey, look, man, I don't hate those brothers, right? They're just misinformed. And that's okay. You know, I still, you know, hope the Most High blesses those brothers, you know, who come against me for no reason, man. All right? You know, hey, there's no hate. There's no beef. And, you know, as they say in the world, there's no beef. Okay? You know, like, does GMS have 100% truth? No. But with that being said, it doesn't mean I hate. GMS, you know, just to, you know, get that out of the way, you know, just, you know, to, to state the facts. Okay, so, you know, ETT, right, end time teachers, you know, Yasha, you know, comes to the defense of Great Millstone, right? And it's not really at the defense of GMS, it's at the, the, the defense of the gospel, all right? You know, because you got other camps out here like, you know, um, you know, Sakari or, you know, uh, say LUYC. Um, you know, other, you know, camps out there like that, right? Um, you know, when it comes to, you know, subjects like this, you know, completely skip over it and, you know, condemn, you know, Great Millstone as being all oh, you guys are, you know, rapists and, and pedophiles, which is absolutely not true, man. That's not true. So you guys are being false witnesses when you bring up those accusations because that's not true, man. You guys are liars. And are just, you know, coming against the apostles for no reason, man. I mean, hell, if you disagree, just be a man and disagree. I mean, there's no reason to be a false witness, man. There's no reason to do that. If you don't agree, then just disagree and move on. I mean, why, for an example, right? If somebody says that the Bible says to kill homosexuals, which it does say that, can you turn around and say, well, this guy said to go kill homosexuals? Uh, no, he said the Bible says that, but he himself never told you to do that. Okay, it's very simple. So we simply bring out that in the Bible, there is a law on how to deal with if a man, you know, molest is a woman, man. Okay, in the Bible, there's a law regarding on how to handle that situation. And that's all we said. Nobody ever said to go out and do this today. Nobody's teaching that, man. Okay, but if it did happen, this is how you handle it, man. All right, and that's all the apostles of Great Millstone ever said. They never said to go do that. They simply just said that this is how you handle the situation according to the Bible. That's all the apostles ever said, man. Okay, so you guys that can't get it, well, you know, y'all just got thick skulls, man. Okay? Um. Anyway, you know, we'll get into the precepts, man. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 25, it says, But if a man finds a betrothed damsel in the field, and a man force her and lie with her, then the man only that lie with her shall die. But unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing. There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. Right. And what is this talking about? If a man takes a woman who is, you know, engaged or is married to another man, then that's a sin unto death because that's adultery because that woman was either married to another man or she was promised or engaged to another man. So that would be classified as adultery. Okay. But look at here next. All right. 27. For he found her in the field and... Uh, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. Right, so the woman, or Salakia. I see right here, I might have skipped the verse. 
Yeah, 26. Uh, but unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing. There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. For as when a man rises against his neighbor and slays him, even so is this matter. Uh, for he found her in a field, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. Right. You wouldn't kill the woman in that situation because the woman was not with, you know, the man, you know, taking her. Right. She was like, you know, I, you know, I'm married, you know, where I'm promised to another man, you know, don't don't do this with me. So if she cried out then she would be spared. But if she did not, that means what? That she was with it. So she would be, you know, killed for that. Like, you know, say for an example, man, you know, there's certain websites out there, you know, like if you go on. You know, which I'm not advertising these websites, but I'm just, you know, giving an example, man. If you go on, you know, Sex Tube or, you know, uh, you know, Pornhub or, you know, uh, what's the other one? Um, damn, I can't think of it. But there's another one out there where I sold the advertisement on. Um, oh, Heavy R. Heavy R. That's what it is. Heavy R. Which, again, I'm not saying to visit those. I'm just simply giving an example of, of what I'm going to say. Is that on those sites, man, you have advertisements, um, you know, for, you know, you can, you can hook up with, uh, you know, with married women, you know, when their, uh, you know, husbands are at work, right? Or you can, you know, hook up with, you know, right, with married women, right? You got, uh, as it says, horny, you know, married women looking for an affair, man, right, tonight. And that's all okay here. That's all okay here in America. Why? Because America is Babylon the Great. And America uplifts everything that is contrary and against the scriptures. Okay, so that's here in America you can find that. But that's an absolute sin unto death right there. All right, that's adultery. Sleeping with another man's wife. That's wickedness. Okay, anyway, you know, I digress. Uh, we'll go on to uh, verse... Uh, 28. Bear with me just a second. God damn, it's time. Anyway, um, verse 28. And if a man finds a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her and lie with her, that they be found, then the man only that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father fifty shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he have humbled her, he may not put her away all his days. Right. So in this one, it's saying, what if a man takes a woman by force and he's found? Um, then he just has to pay the, you know, the woman's father and he would have to be her husband. Okay. He was not put to death. Why? Because it wasn't the sin, but you know, he had to, you know, take that woman to be his wife. Okay. That's, this is the account of how you deal with, you know, quote unquote rape or marriage by force, which by the way, you know, for you guys out there who act like you're smart, like Sakari, well, if you guys go on, um, uh, Wikipedia and look up the term uh, bride kidnapping. It's a practice that is still even followed today in certain parts of the world where a man takes a woman by force and, and takes her to be his wife. Look it up. It's true. I'm not, is GMS making that up? Is that not true? Look it up. It's a fact. So if you don't agree, well, then you guys just don't know what the hell you're talking about then. All right. Which, you know, I'm going to do a part two of this video to go more in depth, you know, but this is just, you know, a good starter, man. OK, so, you know, you know, Lord willing, I can, uh, you know, put the second you know video together later tonight. Uh, but, you know, this is just, you know, a, uh, uh, may I say a preview. OK, at the other information that would be brought out, you know, regarding this subject, man, which, again, this is not, you know, nobody's saying to go do this. We're just simply saying, you know, what the Bible says. Right. Since we claim it, we're, you know, the teachers of the Bible, right? We're the men of the Lord. We got to teach what the Bible says. Okay, if the Bible says this, we teach it, right? For example, the Bible says not to eat pork. So if you're out there eating pork, we're going to tell you, Wes, that you can't be eating that. And that's what the Lord says. And if you still don't want to listen, well, that's on you. Okay, but we got to still warn you because that's what the scriptures say. All right? So, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, we'll call that the lesson there. Or as I said, you know, Lord willing, I'll get around to doing, you know, part two of this. Which I'll put the link in the description box down below so y'all can, uh, you know, go and watch that. Um, and if it's not in the description box, I will put it in the comment section down below. So if it's not in the description box, go to the comment section down below and you will find a link 
to the second part of this video because that might be easier for me to put it down there. Um, but anyway, you know, I hope that was, uh, you know, edifying and I'm going to say shalom.